So the game has established at this point that, like, Leon's kick is, like, good enough to throw people, like, 20 foot through the air. <laughs> so the fact that you can just catch it and flip you is pretty decent. The thing is, though, a lot of people, for that first half an hour of the game, may never actually pull off a kick. Because they might not realise, they might just go for the, like, the body, or they might be or too... Or they might just be, like, shooting the head and never go for the rally. Like, because they'll be too back. worried to think, oh, he's stunned, go for a second free shot. Mm -hmm. See, this always annoy, like freaked me out because look how small the needle is. So, and look, look how big the flag ass is. Yeah, look at how big the thing that's being forced through the needle is. <laughs> so I just get a bigger needle, man. Like, look. Like, look like, how that much, egg is huge. Yeah, but look at how much effort he puts into squeezing that thing. It's like, oh. Now imagine that. Someone's got that, like, jammed in your neck and they're forcing it. It's, oh. Ugh. So have you seen that um, clip that went viral? Uh, I think this is what's going to stop people from like going outside during social isolation. And it's a guy so. getting a swab of like the COVID nineteen swab, and they shove it all the way to the back of his sinus. What? And it's like an army guy, so it's like a, a, a soldier, and he starts yeah. crying. Oh no! Name's Liam. Also, so yeah, um, hashtag. Um, Pour one out for Leon's jacket. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. It's like uh, the rest of the game, it's gone. You never see it again. And it's so annoying because not only is it super cool, it was also in all of the marketing. Well, that's what I was going to say. It's in every like single like shot of Leon from this game. It's him like, wearing every, that jacket. Every bull shot, every marketing shot, every poster, just like Leon with the jacket. And he wears it for half an hour. <laughs> And they explain it. Oh, oh shit's getting real. And the they thing is, why are now like why are they still being told now to go kill them? Yeah, they could have killed them now. I uh, don't get as well because he's injected Leon with the last Plagueis, and then he goes and kills him. Well, that's what I mean. Is at this point, it should be give him the president's daughter, send them both back home. And they should do. Yeah. That little beetle. Little beetle. Yeah. It's for no reason. But it's for no reason. But, it's like for anyone not understanding. They've infected them with the, the plague, like with the virus. That they allows him to control Gnadas. people. Yeah, send them back to the US. He'll be able to control Leon and Ashley. And get direct access to the president. But for some reason, they do that and then try and kill them. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's one of the weakest parts of the plot because it makes literally no sense. Because before it ever comes into real uh, fruition, like... Ashley gets mind control, but Leon never really does. Like, there's no plot point that ever comes up that makes sense for him to have been infected. Because they get rid of it before anything really comes of it. I think they have one moment where he controls Leon and stops him shooting him. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. But again, oh, God, so good. But it is, it is weird that. They inject him with a parasite that lets them control him. Spoilers, that's what Last Plagueis does. And that's why all these townspeople are, like, fucked up. Mm -hmm. But then their first reaction is, okay, now kill him. Yeah. So what was the point in doing that? It's like he's meant... Him and Ashley are essentially, like, send them back. They'll be, like, sleeper agents for us. And then they never take advantage of the plan. No, because they just try and kill them. And it's like, I'm fine. It's fine. There was someone else with me. Yeah. And it makes sense later in the game, because obviously Leon's killed so many people, it's not worth keeping him alive. He's too dangerous. Yeah. So it's like, we need to get to the church. There's a hidden path from the village going up to the church. Yeah. Well, that bit then, that's why, though, if you view this not as a... Um, you like an that. actual proper plot, but as, like, you know, it's a B-movie plot where they only exist to serve the action. Oh, it's like, <gasps> oh it's Australia. <laughs> I love this guy. He never comes back, ever. The thing is, um, is that I I know like you know we mentioned oh there's rumours of like Resi Four getting remade, and the one consistent thing that I've seen everyone say is more is backstory on that guy. No, no, just keep the same voice actor. Oh yeah, just but do I not replace his fucking voice. But I want to know like what's that guy's deal because he never comes back in another Resident Evil game, and you never find out what his deal is. And people are always like, maybe he's like, maybe he was Sadler. Like, he looks similar, like, what's what's going on? Like, he's a bit That's fucked up. Oh, he's so fucking good. What are you buying? He's so fucking weird and cool. But let's just hear it for a second, though. I've got oh, blue medallions, yeah, whatever. Okay. What are you buying? 
Oh, he's so good! Right, mate, first things first, sell all your shit. Sell your bullshit. What are you selling? What are you, oh, he's so good. Never change that voice. Oh, it sounds so good! And they never explain who he is. And again, if you view this as a B movie that has got a hell of a budget, it makes more sense. I'll buy it at a high price. So we'll, we'll keep the rest of our shit for now. Yeah, because obviously... I haven't know. decided if I'm going to use a rifle yet or not. Oh, don't be a oh, guy. First things, yeah, immediately. Boom. Let's just do it. You don't need a treasure map. I know where all the treasure is. It's fine. Yeah, so I'm not going to buy any of them. And, you know, considering this is the first episode, I'm going to mention right now, do people want me to rocket launch your bosses or not? No. Like, rocket are you launcher, doing the actual bosses? Because rocket launching the bosses is funny the first time you do it. It completely robs the game of some of the best set pieces. No, that's true. But not every boss. But, like, should I do it? Should I do it once? Uh, I'd say maybe the second El Gigante fight. That's true, yeah. Because the first El Gigante like, show fight... show off the first one where it's cool, and then show it off the second one about, yeah, fuck this guy. Yeah, the one where you got to fight too. Because there's nothing more bullshit than people who do that. I get it. Like, last time when I was playing, I was like, you know, speedrunning part of it and stuff. Just fuck just it. seeing what I could do. Is like, fuck him. So, I noticed that you didn't upgrade any of your weapons. Is there a reason for that? Are you saving uh, up for a particular item? You know what? I just figured. Right. Oh, no. I'm Walk backwards. There you go. Look at that. New tech, Lucas. Run. run. Oh, Lucas, the guy who's going to swing. I saw him. Yeah, Old ass man's coming. And this is where, like, the Resident Evil 5, like, um, grounded melee attack would come in handy. Walk backwards. Oh, no! I, I was pressing walk backwards, no! You were close. So now you can get full health back and a little bit of extra health. I think I might have, like, just not had space for something, or just not started walking back. Yeah, oh, my back. God! What a shot! <laughs> through the flag! So I noticed, well, you didn't, you didn't buy either the TMP or the rifle. Because no, I, I've, um... I love that. I love that animation. <laughs> I've got my, my shotgun and my pistol. I've got an upgraded shotgun on the way. Uh, shotgun? Upgraded pistol on the way, you know. Yeah. I'll be alright for now. Because um, I know that... The, Whoop! Yeah, invincibility <laughs> frames, baby. Whoop! There are numerous camps, and like the TMP is super fucking good if you use it the way you're using the pistol right now. Oh, which yeah, yeah. is one shot, melee, the knife... Because if you do it with the TMP, obviously the TMP holds like 400 bullets. What are you doing? You, oh my you god. fool. Oh my god. You foolish fool. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I'm not gonna lie, for a second we just hit panic mode, Carl. Yeah. We? Yeah, we. This okay. is a team game. It is, yeah, okay. It's your failures and my failures. Yeah. So, all of them. Because uh, I think the TMP, it's probably the most divisive weapon in the game. Because the people are like, no, the TMP is terrible. And then you have but people again, like, if you do yeah. that melee tactic, it's actually one of the best weapons in the game. Because you never, be, need yeah. to, you, you never need to use ammo. Because obviously every box of ammo carries 50 bullets. Which is, if you use it the way like we could use it. Of like, mm -hmm. one melee attack, just knife. It's 50 kills. Yeah, basically. What backwards, what backwards. Oh, I know, it's fine. I was still in like the get-up animation. Always remember your two-stepping, man. My two-stepping? Oh. Yeah, it's stepping back. Do it. Oh, oh god. Like, before he lights that dynamite, yeah. to make sure he's dead, just get the animation of climbing up. Yeah, it's keep like myself safe. It's like, you are at a brace, the Moyle has a knife. And again, like, this oh, game... Oh god! Like, oh. Set piece after set piece, man. Oh yeah, totally. Right, but that's okay. what that's what I don't appreciate is like at the end of the game it Oh yeah, there we go. I got caught eventually. One of you. The got end you. of the game becomes literally like boss, 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 boss. Which is like boss and gunfights. Which is what I enjoy a bit less. But you know what? We've got it. Let's use Why it. Not, yeah. Again, what's quite a few of them. There you go. Because you can also be hurt by your own grenades, so Yeah, you can. And that's how I learned that. When I realised you could throw a grenade at your own feet, but if you just take uh, one step back backwards, the grenade bit. explosion doesn't hurt you. So an, a, a, a get off me attack can be throw a grenade at your own feet and then just walk backwards. And it doesn't no, matter if the just... 
It doesn't matter yeah, if the grenade's even behind you and you're actually walking onto the grenade, you just don't take damage. It's great. <laughs> it's so good. It's what a brilliant like um, uh, abuse of the game's mechanics. And I love it because you've put, like people have already seen that I've how taught much, you. Like, you can abuse like um, animations and stuff. And iframes and stuff like that. Like the kick one as well. If you run up and kick him now. I was oh, backing shit. away then, Carl. Oh shit. I'm not sure. Maybe it's to do with like the um Oh god. That the one diff worked. Maybe the uh what is it now? The height oh, difference. Oh my god. Just run, just run. Maybe it's the height difference, jokes oh, in a slight no. that's gonna hit you. Eat your egg, get your protein. Oh <laughs> deflecting knives <laughs> with explosions! What a pro! <laughs> what a fucking pro! Do it. There oh, we go. that was beautiful. Like this just the second, I was like, the, again, just shoot as soon as you get out of your inventory. Just oh, hope for the best. Oh no, it's Pesetas. I know. It's really gonna freak me out when you leave Pesetas behind, because I never leave any items behind ever. But, you know, for you, Carl, I'll go back. Thank you. But I was like, there's a few enemies in the way of them. Oh, I God, do not like. I do not like leaving stuff behind. Oh God, to the face! I took it like a man. Oh, come on, mate. <laughs> I love it though, because they all did it one after the other. Yeah. <laughs> they like, watched it happen to the first guy and went, nah, I'll be alright. It's fun fact, they can disappear. They can, yeah, yeah. And it's really frustrating. There's nothing worse than when you see like the 10,000 Pesetas disappear. Like, no! That, that always happened to me in the um, the cabin fight. There's so many items in that bit, yeah. I'm hoping with this being like a remaster, because some of that happens because they just get left. And some of it happens just because there's like that many items spawned in. Uh, yeah, I've not noticed it happen on like the Xbox One version. Like th they've always like been there for a long time. And let's see if it's still here. Oh yeah, it still is. I just spotted it from across the, the range. I saw that, yeah. And I'm just gonna like let this guy go. Yeah, because one of the things you can do is you can actually just finish this fight, and I think you do get a special item every time you do that. Like you'll get like a bit of treasure if you manage to fight them all off. Oh, so okay. Same as in like Resident Evil 5, that very first thing, do you get bum rushed in the alleyway? Yeah. If you're enough of a baller to survive that attack, you get like a free item at the end of it, which gives you like loads of money. Stare. And I was so mad I... that they didn't show you like the African equivalent of the what you're buying guy. Oh, that would have been cool. So, or just make it the same guy. And never yeah, explain Yeah, that would have been even there. cooler. If it's the same merchant in like. Four and five, but they never mention it. Well, they have something similar, don't they? Because the very first guy you encounter who gives you your gun is a guy wearing like a face mask who's like a merchant, but then he gets killed instantly. It's like, damn it! Yeah. I thought they were <laughs> going to do it again. I love that. That's for me, that the first time an enemy did that is when I realized this game is like. like oh shit, they're actually like, like planning what they're doing. Like, you wait till later in the game, they start dodging stuff. Yeah. That's when sh well, that's when you like absolutely like go oh my you god. Lose your shit. They'll shield their face or they'll dodge bullets. Oh, look at him! Look at that! He's duking and diving. And this that was the first game I remember ever doing it. Yeah, where enemies aren't just like especially like they're not zombies. Because a zombie would walk into the bullets, they have no sense of self-preservation. These are people, they have human yeah. intelligence, they've just obviously got the compulsion from the like Las Plagas telling them to act against those. I think, um, I think how they explain it is like increased aggression. Like, come at me. Ah! Oh, look at that. Deflection. Is that when he's got a pitchfork, I'm not gonna pull off that shit. But when he's like, oh, I'm gonna run at you like just with my hands and try and bite you, I'm like that. Stab. Like a knife his face. Right, here we go. Gotta go through this window. The specific, specific window. Specific one. So then you just go. Whoa. So tactical. And then you oh, wait. Yeah, you always wait. There oh, that was it. That was the shot. That was the perfect way she got all of them at once. Yeah. And then just like you, you can bullets on these instead. You can knife them as well. You can. And then to so both of the first that you go to yes. It was like ammo, and I think one's got a spindle in it. Yep. We have to. Yeah. I I love like because obviously we were saying spindle was final. People could get so annoyed so fast. Well, they never pronounce the it properly. No, like, they, they don't. Never, so you don't actually know what it is. Oh, fuck that guy. Yeah. 
Also, a fun fact about the... Um, uh, right, get his toes! Get his toes, guys! Get, get them toes! The... Um, what's it now? Bear traps? They can never kill you. Oh, can they not? If you're on zero health and you step on one, it will do no damage. Oh, okay. They can never do enough. Like, they will right, never just... take you to zero health. Do it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, God! He's oh! Still up. What a bastard! I thought he'd be, like, down on the floor. Took it. Look at that, like, fucking ninja guidance weapon. <laughs> so, do you know the trick the for this bit? Do you remember Luke? Yes! Here we go, The secret! Star. This thing's so awesome. Oh, it's a really cool mask. The elegant mask. But again, completely missable, and I know some people who don't, like... I played through this game before in front of people, and they've gone, wait a minute, I didn't know that was there. And he goes, exactly. <laughs> now, don't you want to go replay the game and see what else you've missed? Exactly. Why are you not going to go for the secret? Uh, I've missed one. Can't you go down that ladder? Oh, no, it's not a bit. I'm, I'm thinking of the wrong bit. Yeah, you are. I think I know which what you're thinking of. Yeah, and I want you to do it because it's so funny. Like, Carl knows what I'm Exactly, yeah, I know exactly what bit I'm talking about, so. Oh, man. I do like Leon's little I'm injured run. Like, what are you doing checking to see if he's going to attack you? I know, it's not dark. I could have, mate. There we go. <laughs> they always announce their presence. Shoot with the penis, see what happens. Oh god, what? Oh, he just get his neck. Oh. Do you know the best thing about that is? Like if that if Hunnigan saw what you were doing. <laughs> it's just like, Leon, are you okay? Like, why why are you getting a grenade out? He's dead. Hmm. Why would you throw a grenade off the edge, Lucas? What a waste that was. You better go down and check, make sure, see if it's like you can pick it back up and reuse it. Oh! oh! Oh my god, you got the big one. Yeah, yeah. It's at the back. Let's just use one. Yeah. Go pick up the big, like, pick up all the little ones first. Uh, because I want to, I want the, what happens when you do it, so. Yeah. Get the blast. Yeah. Get the yeah. blast. Now pick up the big one. Because this is my favourite, like, screenshot Monster of the entire tricky. game. Yeah, take this. Good one. <laughs> It's bigger than a shotgun. Like, that's my favourite screenshot in the game. Because it's okay. Figure out a I way know, to get this. Nearly as big as a fucking shotgun. Get this giant fish in your inventory. <laughs> and it's so pointless. Because like. They never bring out. like This is the only time in the game. Where it's like. Get an animal. Yeah yeah. Like obviously you can get eggs. And you can get fish. But that's it. Right. I'm, I'm curious. I'm like, getting like. I'm getting OCD because I like to have like all my ammo together. Yeah, I get it. It's fine. You want your ammo next to your guns. You want your healing items in one section as well. Yeah. It's fair enough. I can't wait as well for the angry comment you are bound to get from someone telling you you're not putting your... It's not in the right order. Yeah, yeah. Because I know there are people out there who get pissed off at the way your um, uh, pistol is not the right way around. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. And to be fair, that triggers me like a little bit, but not to the point where I'd stop doing it for, you know, efficiency's sake. Like the one that I always like insist upon as well is, um, if I have a attachment for a gun, yeah, the attachment it's got to has to stand next to the gun. Because like, if there's no more annoying, you go look at someone's like um, attaché case, and they have the gun's attachment. Oh, that's right. The fish have got to face the right way. <laughs> like they have and the that's why this is such a good inventory system because like. You can actually... Visualise you know, exactly what's going on. Yeah, you can make an actual inventory how you want to organise it. It's not like the stupid little boxes in um, Resi 5 where it's like, oh, there's nine boxes and it doesn't matter... Where they what are. Size, like, what size the actual thing is. Yeah, because in that game you can carry four rocket launchers or you can carry four pistols. In yeah. this game, you can carry multiple rocket launchers if you want. If but you, you can have fit to them sacrifice all in. other weapons, yeah. Which makes sense. And if you want to walk around with a pistol and a shot... If you want to walk around with a pistol, a shotgun, a sniper rifle and a machine gun, you can. But you have to prioritise that over healing items and ammo. Mm -hmm. And it forces you to like you know play a very specific way. And I love it. It's so good. It's such it's a good system. Still to this day, like, I think... The like, best. You know, when, when I always think oh. of it... Oh, oh! What oh! badass! <laughs> Let's get him. Let's go. That was fucking incredible. It's my favourite way it's ever been done. Yeah, I, I can't ever like. There's good inventory systems that I've played. It's, it's the best one in any game now. But this is my favourite one. And because one, it feels contextual to the game, and it's fun. And it's fun, yeah. Like it's satisfying to organise that inventory. It is, yeah. Like that moment you have when it's um, oh, like that fish, and you're looking at oh, there's no space for this fish. Couple of minutes. 
And just, look, I've got loads of space. Yeah. Oh, can you knife these? I believe you can. Oh, there we go. go, yeah. You just got to be really fucking close. Yeah, you got to be very precise. And you also have to hit the bit that goes off. And if you just go turn around one more time and just go read that laugh, like, oh, look, it's that symbol that's been here the entire time, the big signpost behind you. Do, 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 do. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Here. And this is where you actually get the clue of what it is. Yeah. So that signpost means booby traps. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. So that's where it tells you that if you see that, expect booby traps. And if you can't see the booby traps, that doesn't mean they're not there because obviously that signpost is only in areas where they are. I thought there was something here. Uh, it might be when you go out the other side. There's obviously the brass pocket watch that I got. Yeah, which is another 10,000 pesetas, I believe. Yes. Yeah, I love this puzzle. It's so dumb. I want, I want this to be how you get into my house. <laughs> it's just up left. It's so fucking awesome. Hmm. Look at his back. I also like that it's a it's a silly detail and it's it's one that but it shows how good this game is in terms of um, uh, like you know it's world building. Mm. The painting in the you know, like the peasant's house we were at earlier it was like really faded and shit. We're in a slightly nicer house. Look how much more ornate the frame is. Mm -hmm. The frame is slightly more ornate. It's a lot clearer because obviously the house is cleaner. And they didn't have to put that in. But they did. But they did. And just yeah, yeah, just like. Thing, There's again, a couple of nicely framed photos going right, on. Again, I'd have that above my bed. Yeah, I mean, don't I don't think I'd have that. Like, sorry to anyone that wants to read that, but, like, man. Who gives a fuck? Pause the game. <laughs> huh? Do you know it'd be great there if there was a booby trap? <laughs> it's like, look at him again. And I, want the, I want that one. <laughs> I want that one above my bed. <laughs> oh, he's back! <laughs> you want some? Uh, 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 hmm. And he's like, oh, wait, wait. Ah. And you can tell that you're infected because, like, he has one of those eyes. You carry mm -hmm. the same blood as us, it seems. Never did and he has, like, the... I like that, though. I could crush you right now. Just oh, wait. Wait. If you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe. Yeah, so this way he says, like, just stop being a dick. So you're yeah. going to show off the extra cutscene? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Same blood. And Leon just doesn't get it. So he actually... Like, he, uh, so he what? actually just leaves. Mm-hmm.